and welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be doing another drugstore first impression demo review on the new Makeup Revolution Super Dewy Blushes. I picked up three of the shades. We are going to do swatches, see how they apply on the skin, see how they wear throughout the day, etc. So if you are interested and curious about these new Super Dewy Blushes, then just keep on watching. So I did purchase mine directly from the Revolution Beauty website. I felt that that would be the easiest way to do it as uh, shipping to Ulta isn't available at the moment. They aren't available yet at shoppers, anywhere like that in Canada. So I just went straight to the direct site because I knew I really wanted to try these. I didn't have to pay any import fees, weird taxes, customs, duties, etc. Um, and the pricing was pretty good, I found. They currently have three for two on, so three blushes for the price of two. That is what I decided to do. Um, these are available in five different shades, and I picked up the three most like pinky wearable. If you don't know my videos or are familiar with my channel, I like pinks. I like neutral pink, I like hot pink. Um, I love a cool tone. I don't love super warm toned anything on me. So I picked out the three most pink cooler shades. So the five shades available are You Got Me Blushing, which is currently sold out. I did pick up that one. It's kind of like a rosy burnt berry shade is how I would describe this. I'm not surprised that this one is the most popular or is sold out because it's a pretty wearable shade. The next shade that is available is Fake the Flush, which is like a very, very light nude. I just know those kinds of colors I won't wear, so I didn't get that one. Next up, we have the Hot Hot Pink. This was the most obvious purchase for me. This is called You Had Me at First Blush. It's an insanely hot fuchsia bright pink, um, so this was the easiest decision for me. I absolutely love this color. Next up is Blush Me Up, which is like a deeper red berry. I thought that would be too deep for me and it's just not a shade that I really wear, prefer, so I skipped on that one. And then the last one I picked up is called Flushing On You. This is kind of like a burnt nude, um, more warm toned for sure. So this was the one that I added on for free. So these retail for five euros each. I forget the Canadian conversion, so I will put down below Canadian pricing, US pricing, etc. Um, but as I said, I felt that it was pretty reasonable, especially considering you get one of the blushes for free if you purchase two. Under the product description, it says, add a hint of tint to your look with the Revolution Super Dewy Liquid Blush range, an easy to use ultra pigmented buildable liquid blush. Go for a more natural flushed finish or build it up for a more pigmented look. It does have directions on how to use, so it says to dab a pea-sized amount onto the apple of your cheeks and blend into skin using fingers or a brush. I probably will, actually I will be applying the product to the back of my hand first. I just from experience with liquid cream products, I don't trust the product and myself applying it directly to the skin. So I will be applying it to the back of my hand first on the first cheek, seeing how that goes. And then maybe we'll do one applied directly to the skin, but I get nervous about that because I have dry skin and it sticks to my skin and I want to get that seamless natural flush. So it also says to apply using fingers or a brush. I will probably use my fingers and a beauty sponge. I have my Sephora one here. I don't like like using a brush for liquid products really. Add more product to build up the pigment and intensity. You can also use this product on the eyes, nose, and temple for an all over natural color. We will definitely be doing that. I'll put some over the nose in that kind of W shape as I do. I love my blush. I love going heavy with my blush. And there are currently two reviews um, from the same person and they just said that it's a really good product and blends easily, which is pretty much what I look for in a liquid cream product. I just want good pigment and for it to blend easy. So I find it interesting that it doesn't mention the dewiness at all because that is what the product is called. It's called the super dewy. So the fact that the product description doesn't reference the dewy is interesting to me. I would anticipate that they're gonna have more of a natural finish just because it doesn't mention that in the description at all, but I could be wrong. I also have not seen anybody use these. I haven't watched any videos. I haven't even seen any swatches. So I'm going into this with a very baseline knowledge based on what I read on the website and nothing else. I'm gonna start off by swatching a very tiny amount of product. So I just dabbed each one out there, very, very small. 
um because i want to see like how buildable they are just on the back of my hand even and i'm also interested in how much they adhere to the first area that you swatch it in if i shear it out will it show exactly where i first put the product i'm curious about that as well so let's blend these and see how they blend it actually didn't adhere at all to the part of the skin where i first applied the product so maybe i will go ahead and just apply it right to the face like it says in the directions i want to follow the instructions um, because that's how they say to use them. They probably know best. So I think I will go ahead and apply it directly to the skin and then blend from there. They feel very, very soft and creamy in texture. Doesn't feel too liquidy. It does have like that soft touch kind of feeling. Feels more like a cream than a liquid when you get blending, which is interesting. So these are the three shades here. Obviously, first up, we have the bright pink. This is You Had Me at First Blush. Next to that, we have the rose, which is You Got Me Blushing. And then on the end here, we have the like corally nude called Flushing On You. So that is just like one layer with that tiny, tiny dab of product. I am going to go ahead and apply another little layer of product to see how much we can build them up in terms of like intensity and depth. Although I feel like we got a decent amount of opacity with that first swatch. There we have the product built up an additional layer. You can see there is definitely a lot more intensity, a lot more opacity, especially Especially in that hot pink shade you have to be very careful with that because it builds up very intensely these are very highly pigmented way more so than like the glossier cloud paint or the quo blushes way more creamier than I anticipated way more smooth and also way more pigmented they don't seem to have like a dewy finish I would say they have like a soft natural finish if anything because they are that smoother creamier texture to start off I'm going to go in with the lightest of the three so I've decided we are going to apply all three to the face I'm just going to do some layers so first off we are going in with flushing for you which is the lightest shade we have here like the more peachy nude and I'm going to apply it with my fingers directly to the skin applying the same amount that we applied the first swatch with so a super super tiny amount there okay just do some little dots there and I like to do more of like a padding motion than like a rubbing because then you can get it's like you can remove product from underneath inadvertently that way so I like to pat I mean it looks pretty good on camera but in person it does look a little bit patchy so I'm going to go in with some more about the same amount it does seem to be sitting in this one area of my skin a little more it's not blending down here so I'm just going to go in with my beauty sponge that I used for like foundation and concealer okay I feel like that helped a bit I am going to go in with a bit more I think that blending it a bit with the beauty sponge and then going in with like my whole finger rather than just the tip of my finger helped um, with like blendability and just like it's not sitting on top of the skin as much so I think that actually looks really nice it's very blendable buildable comes across a little less peach on the skin I think than I was anticipating at least based on the swatches I think it looks a little more light pink peachy so I actually really like that I'm going to stop there and then build up the second layer but yeah this is how what is this shade called flushing for you looks on the skin i think that's actually really pretty i like the shade more than i thought i would and i think it built up nicely it's looking very smooth not sitting in any areas weirdly now we are going to go on top with the shade you got me blushing which is more of that like burnt terracotta rose kind of color i'm not great at describing colors so bear with me going in with the same little dab on my finger same finger as well I think that added some nice depth to the color I actually really like that color I didn't expect those two to mix together how they did I think that's really pretty it's applying to the skin really nicely it's definitely not dewy though I wouldn't say that it is like as dewy I thought it was gonna be like a little bit more luminous um, but it definitely just looks like skin on the skin so and as I said I do want to apply a bit to the nose area and like join the two blush shades together in that kind of W motion. I love blush. I love a heavier blush so I'm going to go ahead and do that. For the nose though I am going to mix it a little bit on the back of my hand like that just so that we aren't 
going in too heavy on the nose area because I like my blush to be obviously, maybe not obviously, but I like my blush to be a little bit lighter in that area. So just going in with this, kind of working it together. I just went ahead and blended that a bit more on the nose. I am getting some like patching and like removal of my foundation main base products around the edge of my nose here which honestly for me is fairly typical I always lose product on the side of my nose here just because that area gets really dry and it gets patchy if I pat it too much product just like slips away so I removed a lot of my foundation concealer from that area with my fingers especially because I didn't set that area with powder because I knew I was going in with cream product. So for me, that's pretty typical. Um, the only thing I will say is it's not really dewy. I had a highlighter underneath. I went in with glowy products as I always do because I have dry skin and I like to glow. I like to be radiant, but I'm not getting any extra glow dew from this product. I mean, it's hard to tell because I did go in with highlight. Let's go in with the shade You Had Me at First Blush, which is the hot pink color. I'm so excited to try this one. For this one, just because of the color and how pigmented I know these are and can be, I am going to go ahead and apply it to the back of my hand first. Just like the same amount of product there. And I'm going to do a bit of blending before I go in with it on my face. I feel like these two colors are actually going to end up looking fairly similar to one another once applied to the cheeks. Granted, this one is a bit more like cool toned. And I like with my blush, even like my powder blush, just any blush to carry it up way on my cheekbones. That's just my preference. Going in with a bit more on the back of my hand. Trying to bring it up on the nose there. Um, I do have to say I don't like the application of this one as much. There's something about it, especially around my nose. I really, really don't like the way it's looking. It's just looking very dry. So ignoring the nose, um, I would say that this one doesn't blend as well. You can almost see a distinction, like a definite separation between the powder under my eyes and the blush, which happens when you powder. I mean, I have to powder under my eyes or they get super crepey and like creasy you can see that separation there which I don't like I'm trying to blend more to get rid of that but I feel like it just isn't happening I don't know if it's because of the color and the tone you just notice that separation more so I am going to go off camera I'm going to apply a bit of like maybe highlight and bronzer to fix what I think is like bothering me with the blush and just like a little bit of patchiness. The patchiness though isn't in the main areas where I applied the product. It's just on the outskirts where I have other powders. So if I did this first, that wouldn't be an issue, but just where I have bronzer and where I have set my under eyes, you can see distinction, but on the cheeks themselves, it looks good. So I'm gonna go ahead, play around with a bit of my bronzer and highlight and see how I can get this looking how I would want it to. I've gone ahead now and touched up my bronzer and my highlight. I will say that the highlight went on completely fine on top of the blush, but the bronzer did not seem to want to blend as much. You can see like right in that area, right there. It just didn't want to blend in with the cream liquid blush as well as the highlighter did. So I do have some patching, I recognize that. I am going to wear the product for the rest of the day. I am filming this quite late. It is 5.40, but I'll keep it on for like five or six hours just to see how it wears over the next couple hours typically with blush it's going to be the first thing to go especially with a powder blush typically a cream or liquid is going to last a bit longer on the skin also going to be completely dependent on your skin type i have very dry skin so typically products don't wear away on my skin throughout the day if anything they just get a little more dewy and luminous and also i'm not going to be wearing a mask at all i'm just going to be staying in editing for the next few hours i think that they're worth it at this point i do prefer the combination of these two on this side of my face i feel like it looks very natural very sun-kissed whereas the bright pink on me just right now looks a little bit more artificial so I think that's interesting. It would also be pretty to like mix mix any of them together really because it's such a thin blendable creamy formula. You can really customize 
any of your own shades with the shades that you choose to pick up. Even if you get two, you kind of get three shades because you get each blush on its own and then mix together. So I think that's pretty cool as well that they mix well together, they layer well together, they're blendable, buildable. I would just recommend that you don't apply any powder to the face before you go in with this. Kind of a given with cream liquid products, not every product, but for the most part, that's kind of the rule. I just went ahead and did that anyways. I should have waited on my under eye powder. I should have waited on my highlighter and I should have waited on my bronzer, but I do think that they're worth it at this point. I think that they are comparable, if not better, to the other cream liquid cheek products that I have. I would say the formulation is most similar in like consistency, feel, blendability to the NYX, the Whip Tints. I will link those down below. I will insert an image here. I don't want to get up and go grab them, but I think like consistency wise um, and the amount of pigmentation you get that it's the most similar that I can compare them to. They are just a little bit thinner than those. The next ones are a little bit thick, a little bit more opaque, whereas these are a bit thinner, but the actual feel on the skin and the feel in the hands is quite similar. Very pigmented, which is great because that means you get a crap ton of product for the price for how pigmented it is, whereas with something like the Glossier Cloud Paint, they're very, very sheer, so you don't get as much use out of that product whereas this is so so pigmented you need very very little product to get a crap ton of payoff so I think they're really good I don't think that they're dewy I don't think that they're luminous I just don't I think it's more of like a natural finish even on the back of my hand you can see it's not like a powder finish but it's also not dewy it's not luminous at all it just kind of looks like my skin which isn't a bad thing it's a good thing actually I just wish that they didn't advertise them as like super dewy when I just don't think that they are. So if you have more oily skin though and you were like hesitant because of the super dewy claim, I think you would be totally fine to use these. I don't think that they would have any issue with oils in the skin at all. I don't think you're going to look too glowy or shiny per se. Um, I just look like that right now because I apply a crap ton of highlighter. I'll be back in a wee bit and update you guys on how everything looks. It's now just past 11, so I've had the blush and makeup on for like five and a half hours now, I think. I would keep it on longer, but I'm really not feeling well. The sore throat and ear pain and like throat pain, sore throat, I said that. Anyway, this is how it looks after five hours. I honestly feel like there's been no difference in how it looks, how it's wearing. It looks really, really good. It still looks a bit dry and weird around my nose, but other than that, I feel like it looks the same. Maybe this side has worn away a little bit more because this side looks a little bit more prominent for the blush. But yeah, I feel like otherwise it looks the same. It's worn nicely. I'm really excited to keep playing around with these, especially without having powdered beforehand. I think it'll look really good using them just on like all cream. They're very pigmented, very blendable, good for the price. I really do think this is a good launch if it's accessible to you. You like cream products or you've been wanting to try cream products, I think this is a good one. I think it's very easy to work with. That is everything that I have for you guys today. As always, please do like if you liked the video. It really helps me out, lets me know what you guys like to see the most. Um, and as always, I hope that you have an absolutely awesome day and thank you so so much for watching. Bye!